believe it. I am so fishy. Fish! <laughs> How the hell are you, emaciated platypuses? Galactic Krill here. Recently, I was contacted by this band Laika, some progressive metalcore out of Norway. Say so they recently stumbled upon my channel, they like what I'm doing, they got an EP out and a music video to boot. They'd like me to take a look at that shit and figure, why the fuck not? Also, this band comes highly recommended by fellow React channel True Shot, so we're gonna dig right in. Laika, intoxicated with a one, two, <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Now there are so many words that I wish I told you not expecting that. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. I have thoughts. First and foremost, killing it with the beard game, brother. <laughs> when I saw the guy's face initially, I thought, whenever I see a beard, I'm thinking like a commanding presence, so I'm assuming that like there's the, whatever the harsh is that comes from this band, whatever the harsh vocal is that comes from this band is going to come from him. And just, bwah, Blew me out of the fucking water, dude. I mean, 
This is an instance where I don't think I've ever heard like a progressive metalcore with cleans starting with the cleans. You know, and being a more like light-hearted feeling song where like the vocals or the, the lyrics more so seemed like more like depressing. It's letting somebody somebody go and kind of idea like that. It's supposed to sounds like it's supposed to be sad, but it felt uplifting. It's kind of like the band The Anchors. They have the a, le- a female lead vocalist who does cleans and, and, and harshes in that, but it's like this light-hearted metal chord, you know, and it's it's a, such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling to get a song like this, man, that it's, it's not just grrr, gritty, heavy breakdowns through the entire thing, which I love. It's not saying I don't fucking love that shit, but it's nice to get something a little bit different. I felt very, very good this entire song. I mean, yeah, the stink face came out a couple of times with the growl, because the guy's got guys got sick range in the scream. There were a few elements in the scream that I very much enjoyed, the deep more so than anything else, I guess, but that clean on the guy, and I mean... On, the, on some other tracks, if the clean was used a little bit too much, like the more, more, one of the more recent Crystal Lake, then I wasn't a big fan of how much it was used. This is a different case for me. This is a different case for me, and even though I was like, most of the way through this track, I was thinking, where's going to be the moment? I mean, I don't really feel like we got one musically. It was kind of the same feel, idea through the entire thing, but I feel like for me, like the those vocal hits from Mr. Beard were fantastic were fantastic and there was one where he just he hits a nice sick high note towards the end like I get it it's kind of a popular sounding style clean vocal on top of metalcore which is not it's not the first time it's ever been done but a lot of people aren't necessarily the biggest fan of it I really am I really am and I really dug the way that they did this again another clean that was very 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 well used in a track it was written for the song I feel like the melody and the style of vocal just it really honestly it didn't surprise me even though it started off the song as soon as I started hearing what kind of metal chord this was and what the sound they were going for, the vibe, and like I said, that lighthearted feel to it, I was like, that 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 fits. That 100% fits. Within the first 10 seconds of this, I was like, that fits. If there's a growl in this, awesome. If there's not, this is fine for me. <laughs> I could have listened to that guy the entire time. But there was a growl, and it was sick. And the back and forth between these guys... That fucking, again, the, that word popping out again, the juxtaposition between the, that clean style vocal and the harsh style vocal was very, very well done here, even kind of duetting each other at a point where Mr. Beard brought in his style of, of rasp and scream. And there was that, that back and forth between them. It was very, very cool. Very cool element that, again, I was not expecting a lot of the time when it comes to the clean and the harsh style of vocals. They kind of go back and forth, you know? Like, it's, it's like one person takes their turn and then the other person takes their turn kind of deal. Now, with that said, like I kind of mentioned before, I really do wish musically there had been a bit of a moment here because this, this kind of reminds me of a track I checked out kind of recently by a band called The Wind Covenant. The way that they were able to to blend that, like the, the heavy metal core style with the like sort of light-hearted sounding uh, clean style vocal over top of it. But like with that band, there were some, there were some highlight moments in, in musically as well, stuff that really stood out. You know, for a track as long as this was, I was kind of hoping, which we didn't end up getting, was, I said before, maybe like a, a tempo change, a slow down or speed up section to kind of throw you off of, of the the, uh, the formula that they're going with there because it was somewhat predictable. You know, and that's fine. Again, I very much enjoyed it. This is just thoughts off the top of my head. Something else is like a, a really cool melodic solo. You know, a nice solo break in this would have been really cool to kind of play to the melody of that that uh, that more si- more lead style of like clean style vocal, a solo to that would have been really really interesting, especially because of his style of singing and the notes that he was hitting, the so- like a solo, just sailing type of solo, would have added so much. I feel like emotion toward like the middle section of this track. I think that would have been fantastic. Again, the vocalist kind of did that for me in a couple of moments, especially that one high moment he hit toward the latter third of this. I'm fucking gassy, I'm burping all over the place, fucking cut, God. <laughs> that one vocal that he hit there was just, man, that was so, that was so good. This was definitely a satisfying progressive metalcore track. Yeah, I mean, aside from some of the criticisms that I have, I, I thought this was fantastic. I very much enjoyed this. I, I kind of want to listen to it again right now. <laughs> that melody, the melody was so catchy, that's going to be going through my head over and over and over again for a couple of days at least so hey what did you guys think of this shit do you agree with me let me know in the comments below
Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you can watch it for yourself for screen for audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.